Hello. Sifu John from Yin Yang Gemini saying good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be at this particular moment that you are watching us. It's sort of a little bit like time travel, actually, if you think about it. Um, I'm doing this now for me as early afternoon, and for you it could be whenever. So, fun. Uh, talk a little bit about having a, an arm raise in internal martial arts. So I was teaching uh, some work shuttles, so fair maiden, jade maiden, fair lady, jade lady works at shuttles. From Yang style Taiji, you can think of Sun's Bagua shape, the lion shape. You can think of Pao Chuan from uh, Xingyi, the fire, the pounding fist. It's connected to the heart, just so that's all in there. Um, and they all have very similar things. Uh, even if you're going to talk about you know raising the arm posture in terms of uh, each one, same sort of thing. Now remember. With internals, we want to keep the whole body one combined unit. And in order to do that, you have to be as relaxed as possible, still being full of energy. But everything has to be coordinated in one movement. And a lot of the times, and I, I was guilty of this a lot myself, um, a lot, uh, when you know, you're learning and trying to relax and trying to understand uh, and all that, of, you know, you, you're activating the shoulder somehow, you know, if people keeping it up here, or the elbows flying up, or something is here, basically separating the arm out from the rest of the body. So even if everything else is lined up really nice, really good, the breath and the motion is in line, everything else, you've now created two by creating tension and separating out this arm, this whole arm then, from the rest of the body. You've created two instead of one. Again, the separation being very much an enemy of a lot of things. Uh, so you also want to make sure that not only is it relaxed and in one thing, but the whole body can support it. I've actually had people trying to demo this where, you know, I'm, I'm not that big of a guy, to be honest. Um, and there's some of my other students, you know, 6'2", 6'3", outweigh me by 60, 80 pounds, something like that. Okay, you know, two, three inches taller, 60, 80 pounds heavier. They're cops, they're firemen, bigger guys, and not just sort of like, bleh, but actually kind of, mm, and uh, train in other martial arts and stuff too. And hold here and have them press. And yeah, just kind of stay here. And then if I need to express and, and move them out, just kind of a demo thing to, to talk about that idea of keeping everything unified running through the leg even as your arm is raised. So one of the tricks to do this is all you do is rotate the radius and the ulna. Turn the palm in to turn the palm out. Turn the heart of the, this would be the heart of the fist where the thumb is. Turn the heart of the fist in, turn it out. That's it. It's very easy because you get here. So elbow still down if we're talking about like work at shuttles for example. We have the elbow down and rotate. So still protecting my head, still have the Peng Jing in through here. You can still neutralize and support, uplift if you need to. But this doesn't have the tension. This is still relaxed. You can still get the neutralizing or the, the, the up and down play from the very even tips of the fingers through that back foot back here keeping from the heel. Still, everything connected, moving in. But you have to rotate. Same thing if we're talking about Pao Chui from uh, Xingyi, the fire, the pounding fist. Boom. Again, same. And always moving from here, always moving from Dantian. Twisting, keeping the shoulders and the hips in like a box that doesn't break. This all wants to move together. And to support it, rotate the radius and the ulna. Don't activate the, the elbow going up. No good. Tension into the shoulder, separation, uh, a, a distortion of the unity of the whole body. So we want to keep whole body involved, and we do that by staying relaxed, and we keep this arm that's up relaxed by rotating. So we still keep 
they say chest collapsed and raised the back, and you're not talking about, you know, hunchback or sort of the crazy babushka lady down the street or something like that. No, we're talking about instead of here, relaxed. You know, we're not here, we're not here, in between. That Goldilocks range just right. And rotate, whether we're punching, we got the palm, we're doing, you know, each one, standing postures, anything like that. See, as we raise, as I breathe in and fill up, look, the shoulders still stay down. Even as you raise, if you need to, just readjust. Elbows don't come out. Elbows stay down. The most you're going to have is kind of that 45 degree, keeping the wrist above the elbow, 45. The most you kind of change that if you're doing something almost like zan zong, here, where you got, you know, various pungs and different things with that. Even when we talk about coming out this way, elbow's still down. When the elbow's down, you're almost creating like a clothesline, and you want your, your uh, or what I've read, uh, the analogies being like your, your arms are like a clothesline, and you're keeping all this kind of hanging off of it. So it's not tense because, again, that's separating things out and you're creating tension and using muscle strength, which is not what you want to do for internals. Even as you get further along in your externals, you know, the external like Kung Fu, Wushu, Karate, and these other things, it's still you get more power instead of force, keeping everything relaxed and even keeping that elbow down, even as you twist, keeping up. If you watch some guys, you know, they'll you know, block up here. You watch some of the older guys, even in like those like hardcore like Shotokan Karate things and everything like that, they're not in here like this anymore. They're kind of here. They've learned how to be softer with it. They've learned how to utilize the entire body as one unit. This is much more efficient in whatever you want to do. That force comes in, you roll with it, that force is going to go that way instead of this way. And you've created that distance from yourself as well. And you can neutralize if it's starting to give pressure in with that too. Those old guys know, knows all about that because it's with anything. The old timers, if they've been around long enough, they've been there, they've done that, they've done it wrong, they've done it right, they're going to use the most efficient means possible to achieve their goals. You know, when I work with uh, kids in, um, you know, the, the mental health capacity too, they think some of the older guys and stuff are pushovers. I'm like, no, those are the guys you want to you don't want to do what you're doing right now because they've been there, done that, and they're going to do it the most efficient way. And that's what we're trying to do with this as well. Not only create the health uh, and this sort of qigong aspect of it, as, uh, but if we're talking about it in terms of martially, we're talking about it in terms of uh, being able to use the joints and everything effectively and efficiently. Use the whole body. And rotate. Radius in the ulna, turn the palm in to out, the fist in to out, or up. Just rotate. That's it. All right, like, subscribe, share, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment if you need to, and uh, we'll see you later. Thank you.